Hey everyone, this is Ridoy from Ridoy's Photoshop. How are you doing? I hope you are doing good and having a good day. Uh, as you can see, today I will show you how to remove wrinkle from a boy's shorts. And if you are working on e-commerce and fashion photography, you already know how we stand out our product. Uh, if you are interested, you can watch this video and learn from this uh, and uh, how we done uh, all of the raw and wrinkle photo into a professional look, 3D look. So without wasting time, let's dive in Photoshop. The first thing I'll do is select the topmost layer and the above layer of the color fill layer. Hold Ctrl and plus E to merge it. Then I'll grab the ruler. I'll set the ruler to make the sides even. There are so many unevenness. Then I'll hold Ctrl plus J. to copy or duplicate as you can see this is a boy shorts and this cloth or fabric has uh, some um, texture if it is there are a lot of texture and it's uh, pronounced uh, with that time we will use clone stamp tool but for this shorts i will use patch tool j for patch tool select the patch tool and make a loop the portion you want to remove and drag and place where places even and gradually do this this is how would normally the photo editor those who works for e-commerce and fashion photography we use patch tool um, because this cloth is um, a little bit of texture but is I've already said as you see as you can see this cloth or fabric is less textured that's the reason I'm using but if there uh, was uh, a lot of texture in it pronounced uh, we will use uh, clone stamp tool or the frequency separation method so that the texture remain and let's do the other part I'm retouching first then I will liquefy to make it symmetrical it is your uh, preference uh, what do you do is it removing wrinkle or the liquefy it's almost done there are some do not remove uh, I've already taken select the selected the uh, clone stamp tool patch tool uh, this area I'll use clone stamp tool make sure opacity is much lower it's 
Here is some wrinkle for the cloth clip. Here is a little bit and that's it almost almost done here is my first step is done and i will hold control plus e to merge it with layer one and I'll go to filter then liquify make sure your show sure guides is checked then grab the warp tool push up like place it along the margin just click and drag the portion you want to let's click and drag like push click and push just nudge it a little bit make sure both pockets look same like symmetrical Here is my liquify is done. If there is necessary retouch, select the clone stem tool and hold control. Where the the sample you want to take and click, then paint on the area. There is a wrinkle. I'll keep it like this do not remove all of the wrinkle because it will it will look like flat or cartoonish but I, I do keep I do want to keep this realistic that's the reason hold control plus H to hide the guides select the pen tool per P per pen tool click and drag the portion you want to select pencil is for precise selection if you want I'll make videos about mastering on pen tool uh, this is my first tutorial where I am explaining something uh, if you follow me and watch regularly you will find I'll upload regularly using all of most of the tools and I'll describe how they use for uh, various work and varieties and versatile work I've closed the path Hold control plus enter. Select feather 0.5. Press delete. And that's it. Here is the before, here is the after. Here is the before, here is the after. Have a look.
there's a lot of wrinkle before and here is the after the polish one that's how we uh, show our work on e-commerce side or, or the present the customer they want to buy and that's it my friend this is done if you found this tutorial helpful hit the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to readers photoshop for more this kind of tutorial tips and tricks that's it for today see you in my next video